day one of training for a marathon. <laughs> I haven't run more than six miles in years. So I like to think of myself as a runner, a retired runner. Then I signed up for a marathon. So I have no idea if I can do this. I'm honestly terrified and I'm kind of like anxious about it, but I thought it would be fun to vlog my experience. So welcome to week one of training for my first marathon ever. It's gonna get weird. Step one in being a real marathon runner. Get hokas. They say get some hokas and go run some miles. I never wanted hokas, <laughs> ever. I think they look like Kleenex boxes, but you know what? If these things are gonna take me all the way, I'm sold. Today is the first day. I'm taking them out for, for a little run. Hey, miles, all smiles. And I'm wearing my hat because this is my first rodeo. Marathon. Might be my last. We'll find out. LA Marathon Week. And I have not run this week because I'm trying to save my legs. And I'm getting a little nervous because my friends are running, but. I just feel like with the injuries, I don't really know what to do. And my PT guy was like, yeah, your whole leg is, your back, it's all messed up. So I'm taking it easy. I'm just worried that I'm taking it too easy. So this week, I'm really gonna try to focus on eating really, really well because I feel like somewhere like a month ago, sometime like a month ago, I just like stopped eating and like actually prepping my body for these long runs. And running 26 miles on Sunday sounds really scary. So I'm trying to just like eat a lot of food and save my legs and hopefully it goes well. So we'll see. The days are officially longer. So that means we're gonna go thank the sun with some LA hippies. <laughs> LA hippies. Is this, no, we're going to standard time or we're going to daylight savings? I don't know. I don't like daylight savings. I feel like it's kind of a scam. Like Especially, things. why don't they do it at 12 o'clock? Why is daylight savings at two? What's that about? Do you know? Wednesday before the marathon. Marathon's on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. And I'm feeling just like a little razzled. Not frazzled, just like razzled. I can't really decide what that means. I haven't worked out this week because I have been on the verge of getting sick. Like I made a video a few weeks ago where I was like, it got me. You know, um, well, it's trying to get me still. But I will stay strong and I will not get sick. Is this clean? What did I use this glass for? What did I use this glass for? Why is this glass out? The thing is, when you're trying not to get sick, if you're smart, you're not going to the gym. Now I wanna go to the gym because I'm feeling stiff. I'm feeling like a loser. I don't like not working out. It really mentally just like destroys me. Um, also, all my friends are going on these runs. I'm not going on any run. No run for me. I, I have honestly run half of the runs I'm supposed to do for this marathon because I've been hurt. Like, is it crazy that I'm doing this? Is it crazy to think that I'm gonna run a marathon? I'm gonna do it. I just, it's a little, cra I think it's a little crazy. I don't know. Love lifting, ugh. Before every workout in the gym, I have Naked Energy, clean form of pre-workout. I mix it with Pro Max, Pro Max, Pro Mix, BCAAs. I can't talk this week. Give it a little mix thing. Off we go. What? is in motion stays in motion you know more energy more energy more passion more passion wait up me and my team ain't taking no l's i told him you don't want to play us we going out town on a flight in the morning so fuck it i'm just gonna stay up remember last year i told him the price and now they all want to pay up they hit me now they coming too late all the replies is this zoomed in nope it's not okay all right it is officially marathon week I've got like literally two days, two freaking days until I'm running the Los Angeles Marathon. And I just realized that I have nothing to wear. And that might sound dramatic. And this is the only good lighting I have in my apartment right now. So excuse me like hunching over, but I need to go find a pair of shorts. And if you're a girl, if you're one of the girlies and you have been trying to find running shorts, you're not alone. I got some muscular legs. 
And so I can't be wearing a lot of the shorts that other girls with thinner legs wear because one, very uncomfortable. They look terrible. My whole body just like eats them alive. Hopefully today I can find a pair of shorts. I am going to go to Lululemon. The odds that they have my size, probably slim to none. All hope is not lost. And also it would be nice to like just have a cute little outfit because everybody knows if you love your outfit, you just perform better. It's fitspiration. You're gonna be running and running. And yeah, it's gonna be great. So wish me luck. That's what we're doing for the rest of the day. I'm kind of nervous. I have a pair of old black Lululemon shorts. Now, they're a little tight. How do I feel about running 26 miles, 26.2 miles in shorts that are a little tight? It seems like my inner thighs will be bleeding by the end, but I don't know, we'll find out. gone on a run by myself in so long since like the very beginning or like the first month of this marathon training. The last successful run that I did by myself was in Colorado and that was like the beginning of the end. So I'm excited. I'm going to go for a quick two mile run. I'm going to put some headphones in, just run around my neighborhood and then I think I'm going to get myself some sushi because I'm just like not wanting to cook. I don't want to cook and I don't really have groceries, so I'm feeling lazy. And that's okay, that's okay. I deserve sushi, you deserve sushi. We all deserve sushi. All right, that's enough. Let's go, let's go. Also, like, what is happening in my apartment? Like, this is a bunch of, like, fun brands from Exo West, and, like, this is chaos. I'm literally living in chaos right now. My little outfit, little outfit for the run. I've already messed up because my phone is literally on like 10%. And I had an, ooh, found it. I have an external charger. Oh, and it's charging. That's incredible. I was gonna be like, but I never charge it. And it goes on like the butt of your phone. So, all right, now I'm gonna go for a two mile run. Let's go. All right, because I am in like panic mode of marathon energy. I am going to go to Target because that's what a girl does when she's stressed and doesn't know what to do. Um, I have some returns. I always have some returns. So I'm gonna return some stuff. And then I need to make sure that I have like all my snackies for the run because I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I wanna be over prepared. I really wanna be over prepared for this. The thing about living in Los Angeles on the west side is the targets are just mid, if I'm using that correctly. It's just there's there's not a lot going on. They don't have a big home section, which is where we like to spend the money. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go. Hopefully, they also have the little like gummy things that I want for my run. There's a brand that I can't seem to find anywhere, which is actually really getting on my nerves. It's called Scratch, I think. And I don't even know how I got a bag of these. I think my mom bought them for me when I was in Colorado visiting, just starting my marathon training. And I can't find them anywhere. And I, the only place I can find them is Amazon. And Amazon, I have to buy like a big pack of them. And I'm like, yo, my marathon's on Sunday. day of like running around and getting ready for my marathon has really just turned into a day of me spending money that I didn't need to spend. I thought that I would spend two hours, like two hours at Target, no problem. I was like, are you kidding me? Is that enough time? Is that enough time? It was more than enough time. I've got all this time. Thank God there's a Whole Foods. I can just go wander around Whole Foods and talk to my friend on the phone. Um, but that didn't last very long either. So here we are, Olipop. God, that's good. Oh, I don't know how long this like validation is good for either. I'm like, it's 6.07, it's 3.35. What does that mean? 
Alright, well, now we're just gonna wait around. Probably go park my car somewhere else. Alright, it is the day before the race. We are getting our bibs and cheering on my boyfriend in the charity 5k. And vibes are high, we're feeling good. I'm kind of nervous, I'm so excited. Oh, and we're trying to get a bib for our friend who couldn't come down because hot tip, LA Marathon, probably most marathons, you can't pick up anyone's bib. So it's a little hard to get all the way down in downtown LA and we don't live downtown. So let's see if we can get it. Very cool. Delicious. Do you like it? I do. Isn't that good? What do you rate it? Am I going on a 10? Yeah, out of 10. I don't really know what to compare it to, but it's. I really like this one. I like, I like it. this I one. I think I like this. I like blueberry. <laughs> blueberry. <laughs> Lemonade. Yum. All right, we bought these glasses and I cannot take myself seriously. We all look hilarious. <laughs> I can't. Uh, do you want a little like. Oh, Papillon! <laughs> good choice. Those are good. Thank you, thank you. Good job, sir. I did the sauce. I'll uh, right out of the can. Ooh, Chef Bay! Mix two cans together, though, already. Because there's gonna be a lot of people. And then just see how you feel, but make sure you start walking way before. Happy, happy. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win the marathon. I don't know what to <laughs> I look so intense. I look like I chose for breakfast. Okay. Yeah, this is good. One serving of this has 23 grams of carbs. One of those has six. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This is the night before the marathon. Well, that's good. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> this is me before the marathon. <laughs> Good night, Allie. Tegan. Good night. Hey, Google, turn off the lights. Let's go run a marathon. Today's the day. It is 3.20 in the morning. Tegan and Allie slept over. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna go run a marathon. This is crazy. It's also crazy that like you don't wake up. Like you have to like get up so early. This is nuts. Oh, four hours and 52 minutes. The ultimate middle school sleepover. <laughs> running for the shuttle. Just we casually them. signed up for a half marathon and then realized it was a full marathon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you on the ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you actually don't need because you don't have We stopped for a pee break for Tegan. 
Oh, she can't get out. She's trying to get out. You got it, Tia. It, it got you. All right, we're at mile. Wait, what mile are we at? 17. 17? 17. Oh my God, mile 17. Running to Manhattan Beach. As always. We've got Sam on the music. He's single, ladies. I yes. love that dog. I want that dog. Take it, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Yes, we're almost done. So we really wanted to leave, but the parking garage, no, no cars were moving. <laughs> so look at Ali's skirt. And so we sat there for 45 minutes and the little parking lady was like, it's gonna be another two hours. And so now we're walking and hopefully Coach Sam gets us, but I don't know. Praise Coach Sam. Praise Coach Sam. Sam we, are, through this whole marathon. we are not worthy. <laughs> After Sam rescued us, we went straight to Coffee and Chill in Venice Beach where we actually didn't get coffee and we didn't chill. We were exhausted and we just wanted to be with the group that ran the marathon. So we went over to our friend Dom's house and actually just got to relax and reflect on the fact that, holy shit, we just ran a marathon. Well, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. We've been here for so, so, so long.